welcome to Make It Happen Monday, where we're always high on health and completely, utterly unscripted. So I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. Okay, today we are going to be talking quinoa. You know, whole grains in general are on a roll for health, and quinoa is really the most nutritionally esteemed of all whole grains. Let me give you some quinoa highlights, and then I'm going to give you the tricks, the tips for really making delicious quinoa. First of all, why is quinoa so amazing? Well, it's filled with vitamins, it's filled with minerals, it's high in fiber. It contains complete protein, meaning it has all the essential amino acids. That is very rare in the plant kingdom. In fact, measure for measure, quinoa has more protein than any other whole grain, significantly more. The other thing about quinoa it is uniquely high in two highly prized anti-inflammatory fatty chemicals called camphorol and quercetin, right? Quinoa is also uh, filled with healthy fats, monounsaturated fats, and even some omega-3 fats. For those that are trying to avoid gluten, quinoa is naturally gluten-free. Oh, I think I have... No, that's okay. All right. Sorry. I thought I might be on fire. <laughs> then... Um, the other thing about quinoa, which gets me to these tips on how to make it delicious, is it cooks up really quickly, really easily, and is remarkably versatile in the kitchen. So you can use quinoa like you would rice, or even, in, I think, in a sense, pasta, but certainly rice. All right, so what are my three tips? The first one is toast your quinoa grains a bit first. So how do we do that? So this pan has already been heated. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there, maybe about a tablespoon. And I'm going to let that sort of circulate around a little bit and get nice and uh, heated. It's, it's not to its smoke point, it's, but it's warm. It's warm. Now I'm going to measure out my quinoa. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a half a cup. This is a preparation for probably a couple people. Uh, so I'm going to do a half a cup of quinoa. So you're going to put the quinoa grains into that hot oil, and you're going to toast them a minute. You know, listen, you've got to continuously stir because you do not want the grains to get scorched or burned. You just want to toast them until they're lightly, you know, kind of golden a little bit. You know, some of them starting to turn sort of a golden brown. And it can take, you know, two to three minutes to do this. And what this does, it really gives it a nice, um, you know, sort of nuttier ta uh, taste. It's a flavor enhancer is what it's doing. To toast those quinoa grains, again, you just spend two to three minutes. It can make a huge difference in the flavor, right? All right, so now they're getting nice and a little bit golden there. So the second tip is, instead of preparing it as the package directions tell you in water, I use broth. Again, it's just going to give it more flavor. Oh, I meant to open this already. Paint. Ah, there you go. And you can, we, we can our own broth. You don't have to do that. Um, and, you know, it's two to one. All right, that's the other tip. So the package instruction is going to say for every um, cup, of quinoa, you're going to put two cups liquid. My tip, my, my third tip, so the toasting the grains, second tip, use some kind of broth instead of water. Third tip is slightly cut back on the liquid. So if it calls, if you're doing a cup of quinoa, well, I'm doing a half a cup. So instead of putting a cup of water or a cup of liquid like they tell me on the package instructions, I'm going to cut back just a tad uh, maybe put in a little more than three quarters of a cup. And it's nice and hot. And again, all you do is bring it to a boil, then cover it and let it simmer about 12 minutes, and it is done. And I want you to know that there's all sorts of uh, wonderful recipes everywhere for quinoa. I have several on my website. So one of my favorite ones is quinoa with the four peas. you got to try it. Parsley, pine nuts, uh, parmesan, and peas is Absolutely delicious. Everyone loves that one. And there's several, uh, several others on there. But 
eat more quinoa. It is awesome. It is so delicious, so nutritious. And the key is these three tips I just gave you. Toasting the grains, using some kind of broth, and slightly cutting back on the liquid that the package instructions call for. So enjoy quinoa and enjoy health. Thank you. Thank you.